So we're on a ride, <laughs> we're on a walk, and uh. <laughs> Guys, on a walk. <laughs> this is our first walk with him, um, which is actually pretty cool because uh, he's going to be in the parade on Saturday. So he kind of needs to know. I need to know how he walks, and he's doing really good. Um, <laughs> we just had like a huge pod of cyclists. <laughs> it was so funny. They all came up. And then all you hear is like, horse, 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 and everybody's on the brakes. <laughs> it was so funny. So I told him, you know, come on by. <laughs> but uh, he's doing really good. He's just kind of hanging out a little bit behind me. Um, I'm on his blind side, so I'm pretending to be his eyes. He seems to be more comp happy over on this side. But he's got a stone in his left hoof that I'm going to have to work on getting out when we get back and I didn't know it was there until um, I can start hearing it crunch. So yeah, I'm sure you guys can hear it. Hear it. Sounds like he has a shoe on, on that side. But he's pretty good, he's kind of a looky-loo and uh, it's to be expected, you know, for our first walk. And um, he's doing very good at being beside me. He's licking and chewing, he's looking around. <laughs> he's not spooking over anything right now, which is really good. Yeah. But uh, Jarvis has been crying, so he's been hearing Jarvis. And uh, thankfully no cars have come by yet. So it's just been the two of us. But he does wanna go home. But we're gonna go up a little bit farther and then turn around. What are you looking at? We're not going home yet. Not yet. <laughs> Just a little bit farther. Can you do that for me? <laughs> I was like, oh. He was like way out of shape. He's like, I wanna go home. <laughs> Couple more beats and then we'll go home, I promise. Thank you. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh wait, hold on. You got a thing on your face. Oh, there you go. Jarvis! 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 You can see where he is. He's in the barn. Jarvis! <laughs> so he did really good. He does good with trucks and cars, stuff like that. So he's just kind of chilling out. So it's another day. <laughs> I figured I'm gonna put all of these all together. Um, 
the one where I was walking him and oh I have a really cool thing that I played a um a parade on my phone like a there's a parade that's in Texas that they videoed like four or five years ago and they put it up on YouTube and whenever I need to um tell people or show the horses like sounds of a parade I use that one um if I remember I'll put its link in the description but I don't know if I'll remember or not um so I, I figured I'll put all this together with me walking him and then I'll show you his the little video it's because like he perked up his like ears perked up and he looked at the TV and he's like oh this is like it was familiar to him which is cool I love new horses because like you get a lot of firsts you know, the first time that you realize that he hates water or the first time that you realize that he loves water or, you know, lots of different firsts of everything. So today um, I went to Walgreens Photo and I get a lot of the materials that I use for like promotions and cards and calendars and stuff from Walgreens Photo. And I do only because Honey, that little add-on that you put onto your browser, which I am not sponsored by Honey or anything. I'm not sponsored by Walgreens. They give you a really, really good discount. <laughs> so I got like $60 worth of stuff for like 20. Yeah, really good stuff. So I want to show you guys what I what I've got and what I did and why I have it. And the really cool part was it's actually a lot less because they accidentally printed three and I only ordered two. So I only have two sides to a horse, not three. So um, let me show you what it is. I'm going to put you guys down. There you go. And I hope you can see it because I'm kind of backlit. But maybe I should, you know what, come on over this way. And you get to see the back of my house. We'll try that. Ah, yeah, that, that works out much better. Okay, let me move the, the fly thing. There we go. Alrighty. So, this is what I got. Let me see if I can just pull one out. It's all way rolled up. I think that's one. <laughs> it looks like there's more than three in there. So, I got this, um, you know, it's just... It's supposed to be glossy photo paper, but they screwed up and put it on matte. So it's matte photo paper. It's supposed to be photo paper, but it's not even photo paper. It's just like paper paper. So I think maybe that's why they printed. Because this is supposed to be on glossy paper. They screwed up. So, you know, that's one thing about Walgreens is that they will screw up. So this is what I made. Oh, and it's backwards. <laughs> Well, there's our logo. <laughs> oh. Okay, let me turn the, the phone around so you guys can see what this actually says. So you're going to have to bear with me on this because uh, I don't know where I am in the screen. <laughs> but this is what it looks like. It's um, 2 feet by 6 feet. Oops. Come on now. I want to, seriously? Come on, Butterfingers, work. So that's what it says. So I might cut off a little bit on the end. And this is going to go on uh, Friday. Here I am. I'm, I'm going through my head going, okay, Noah, no, he's gone. Bishop, no, he's gone. <laughs> so this is going on Friday for the parade tomorrow. Um, I'm hoping it'll be okay. Uh, I'm going to take one of the other ones and I'm going to reinforce the top. So as he's walking, it'll stay, you know, kind of like straight. I don't know. We're going to work with him today and see what happens. But, um, yeah, hopefully it's big enough. And people will be able to uh, kind of see what it's all about. So I'm going to roll this one back up. I'll probably use this one as the, the test one then that I cut up in pieces. So I got that one. And... Yeah, there might be three in here. Two. Might be even four. Maybe. I don't know. See you guys! <sighs> Alright, well I got some things to do. Um, I gotta go move the chickens. And I gotta get me some lunch. And I gotta see how this works. 
Um, I'll probably bring you guys in the barn and see how sensitive he is to this stuff. So I'll see you in a minute. So there are, there are the meat birds in their tractor and I've moved it again and you can see <laughs> um, this is where it started was here and then we moved it all the way up here and then I turned it around and started moving it back that way and then I put it way over there like way over there where that bare spot is and there's one day there's another day and there's another day and you can see the bare spots are getting just a little bit bigger as they keep on pooping and they poop so much but um as you can see they're actually it's actually growing back fairly well and this is good for the ground anyway the, the poop that they are pooping when it rains this will all wash in It'll be a nice fertilizer can't even tell with this one this is the first place that i put them oh yeah and they were right here for one day too but um that's before I move them over here but there's like poop there but it's not too bad yeah um, you can definitely <laughs> you can definitely see the track Hello. Of where they've been <laughs> there's one here there's one there 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 and that's the last one so this was like the first time that I was gonna move them like every like twice a day but then I end up having to go to work and I can't ask husband to come out here and do this because he'll get grossed out. So, um, and then this is, they were eating pellets and I went back to crumbles. So this was, let's see, what's today? Today's Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah, this is Monday. <laughs> and then uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then of course today and then tomorrow will begin me moving them twice a day because um this is this is getting too much right here this this is okay this is getting too much it's it's like really matted down the poop is and then this was from last night and it's just you can't hardly even see the ground there's way too many flies so i probably should have been moving them twice a day for the past two days but you know, oh, this is their feathers they're molting <laughs> that's new um but they're in there they're nice and they're healthy um, they're eating quite a bit they're making a mess of their crumbles right now um, some people take uh, right now because we're gonna cull in about five days um, no less than that yeah five days so they usually do 12 hours on 12 hours off so I just let them eat this bucket until it's empty um, tomorrow morning I'm gonna come back out and see how much they've eaten since here probably come out like about six o'clock so that'll be 12 hours and I want to see how much they've eaten but they're still kind of small um, in I think but they're hens so they're naturally gonna be a little smaller but they still get around you know there's some that don't a little bit worse than others like that one <laughs> um, some of them are bigger than others like this one that's got its wings out she's a little bit hotter than the other one she's a little bit bigger um, and then that little one way back here that one she's a little bit smaller um, she's starting to grow though pretty good she gets around really well but they have you know they get plenty of food plenty of water and you can see that their butts are really nasty because they just lay down on the ground so the feathers don't grow in and they just have been, like I showed you just a minute ago, they've been laying on their poop. And that one, she's so big, she's so much bigger, she doesn't move and they poop on her. So they end up pooping on their backs. So culling these guys at 10 weeks is, is going to be, I think it's actually nine. I think it's nine that I'm going to be culling. I'll have to go back. But um, they're pretty happy, you know, they're, they're eating very well. Here, I'll show you the other side. I turned on the fence, so I'll have to pull that down a little bit. But they're doing good. They're happy. At least they seem happy. <laughs> they still have that little... 
that little chick noise. Right? <laughs> but they're not, as you can see, they're not crazy. You know what I mean? They're, n they're not fighting for food. They're not fighting for water. So, to me, that's pretty content. I would say that's a pretty content bird. And look at the mess. Oh, they make such a mess. That's why all the food <laughs> is all over the place. Now, I, I did have uh, pellets, but they were wasting 10 times as much pellets than they were the crumbles. So, and it's easier for the crumbles to get into the ground and soak into the ground. Somebody's getting into trouble over there. You getting into trouble? What are you doing in there? Who's Jarvis? So, to me, they seem pretty content and pretty happy. They're not overly hungry, which is good. They're not overly thirsty, which is good. That means nobody's stressed, nobody's fighting, no heart attacks. And uh, after the first four that passed away when we just got them, um, we've had 21 birds. So, I'm excited. So, the next video that I have these, these birds in um, will probably be on Wednesday, maybe Tuesday. Tuesday. I have to go pick up the, uh, the kit. Um, Surrey County has their agricultural department has this kit that you can rent for seven days that gives you um, four, four culling cones, um, a stainless steel table, a plucker, um, I think a scalding pot, and a couple of other things for 50 bucks and you can keep it for seven days. So um, I've got to make sure I have propane in my tank so we can use our scalder because we have the one that we're going to be renting from um, Surrey County and then one that we have from when we do our like deep fried turkeys and when we do our own chickens here like one at a time. Um, so we have that plus I have another cone so I have five cones so we could just we could do this in like a heartbeat. So that'll be on the sixth. So the fifth I go to go pick it up, and then we'll set it up. And then the sixth we're gonna call. The seventh we'll clean everything up back up, and I will return the kit to Surrey County. And well, we're gonna clean it up after. What are you doing? So we clean it up after you call. Hi. You getting any trouble? And um and then we'll bring it back on the 7th and that Friday I have to go back to work. So um yeah, so I'm off like vacation. Um at least until the 4th and then I have to work half a day on the 5th. And then that's when I go up and go get the kit. So um I hope you like this so far. Uh, I really wanted to weigh them all, but I'll be weighing them the day that we call. Um, and that way I have gloves. It's just been, it's too much of a pain to grab one out and try to weigh it. But I am kind of curious to see how much they weigh. I gotta get them their food. Their buckets are empty. And somebody's itchy. They're getting a bath tonight. And tomorrow, we're going to the parade. They're going to be in the parade. So that'll be fun too. So I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Yeah, it's only half a mile. <laughs> hey guys, I have a unicorn. <laughs> and uh, Sean's on Jarvis. I'm walking Friday and um, Izzy is up there. <laughs> so we are at the parade at East Bend uh, Garden Country Parade. And he's a little limpy on that foot still. But I think he's going to be okay. There's a horse trailer behind us. And uh, I think he'll be okay. I think he's a little... Uh... Yeah, I can see him. Right Hold on. I think um, he might have arthritis. Come on, baby. There you go, good boy. That's a cute little
Oh, that's a Rocky Mountain horse, yeah, from last year. Oh, a corgi. <laughs> You're not impressed, are you? Yeah, that's what he did. Jarvis is on his way out too. He's he's gonna be pooping in a second. <laughs> so uh, yeah, he seems to be doing a little bit better. I think he's got arthritis. I think he's got arthritis. Oh, we gotta keep up with the uh, with that. Come on. <laughs> Come on, baby. He's ready to go somewhere. You ready? Yeah, we gotta go to the last little bit. Yep, everybody's getting ready. Everybody's getting ready. Are you nickering? Are you nickering? I think you are. I was really surprised. Not bad for a blind horse, eh? Yeah, half one. Good boy. He didn't even spook. Everybody, we got a bunch of horses here today. Yeah, going in there. He started going blind about a year ago. Two, about two years ago. Yeah. He came Good to boy. Us blind at the same eye. Uh uh, you can't have that. No, sir, I'm sorry. They bonded very much overnight. <laughs> so we got us, and then we got this group over here coming. <laughs> I wasn't expecting him to jump that quick. So let's set up this one. Did you hear him just now? He's old. Clover. Come on, baby. Come on. That's a boy. Come on. That's a boy.
It's over. <laughs> I can imagine what I look like. We survived. We survived. They did phenomenal. His Friday's lead rope came untied and he ran off, but Izzy was right there and she cut him off and stopped him and he stood still and he let me catch him. So he didn't go far. <laughs> right? What did you think about the whole thing? Was it entertaining? No? You ready to go to go home, go to bed? Yeah. We're gonna take them home. We're gonna wash them down. They deserve it. It's nap time. So, happy 4th of July, you guys. Stay safe, enjoy your barbecues, enjoy your family, and enjoy the fireworks tonight. Trailer loader extraordinaire. Take one. Lights work really good, Ron. I usually don't film from this angle. But we're gonna take the boys off, we're gonna give them a bath, rinse them down a little bit. I think they deserve it. Stressful day. <laughs> 